Howdy folks, I'm Score, the Crimson Renegade, and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. Last time, a big bird showed up, took away Elizabeth, and now I'm, a, I'm now Elizabeth-less, and trying to make, keep my health and ammo up. I'm really wondering what happens if I die um, without uh, Elizabeth around. Maybe whenever I die with Elizabeth around, she, you know, she injects me with some kind of needle <laughs> and picks me up. But there's no Vita Chambers in this game, so if I die, what happens? What if it just like loads my last checkpoint or something? Oh well. Uh, let's see. Okay, last time I came from over here, and I came through this way. Yeah, because there's that uh, that thing up there, right? Okay, I remember now. All right. Warden's office this way. Let's go over here first. Do I check this side over here before I end the episode? I obviously do not, because I missed the search. All right. Anything in here? No. Anything in here? No. Anything in here? No. Oh, lockpick. <laughs> kind of useless to me have a lockpick if I don't have an Elizabeth to lock, uh, to lock to pick locks with. I mean, obviously, obviously I'm going to get it back. As long as that's a spoiler, obviously I'm going to. Otherwise, you know, it'd be kind of silly if I didn't. Um, now, did I get turned around? So let me try this. It's Elizabeth again. As the days pass, I believe less in God. Okay, yes, I listen to that. I listen to that box of time. powers shrivel as my regrets blossom. Okay. Oh, shotgun. Because my father failed me. By the time I realized how far I'd gone, it was too late to stop it. Oh, you're up those stairs. Okay. All right. There is still one last chance at redemption for both of us. Uh, saw something else the last second just now. What, what was I? What did I see? I came over here and when I grabbed the shotgun ammo. When I tried the shotgun ammo, I saw something that got my attention. What was it? What in here? Oh yeah, here's this. I think this was it. Yeah, yeah, I know what it does. New hat, rising bloodlust. After each successful kill, up to five weapon damage is increased. Resets ten seconds after the last kill. Ooh, that's tempting. Cause I really like whip. I really like guns to do. That. I've like uh, games like Destiny and uh, things of that sort. When you get those kind of uh, you know, boost to damage after a kill, I really like those kind of skills. Hmm. But considering that, well. I was gonna say, considering I don't really—I I mean, I get—I have lots of money already. I've got four thousand, and money keeps rising. Especially considering I'm not buying a whole bunch of uh, uh, plasmids all the time, or vigors all the time, vigor upgrades rather. Uh, I think I'm just gonna take it for now. But that's a really good one to, to consider. Actually, when you get—you know—you usually get enemies in like big groups of like five or so, five or six or so. So I just like unleash you know hell on them one at a time. Alright, I think I've done all I can here. Let's go ahead and head up the stairs. Now the question is, do I go up these stairs? Those stairs? Those stairs? Or those stairs? The ward's office says that way. If that's the way I go... Right, that's not the way I want to go yet, then. I want to explore first. Okay. Uh-huh. Murdered. Is that, is that Chen Lin? Okay. Alright, what's on this side then? Ooh, salts. Oh, I don't need salts. Darn, I'm already full. Okay, well, that was uh, pointless. So let's go toward the warden's office then. Okay, what am I going to be seeing when I get in here? Well, that's the door that leads into the, uh, that was, that was being guarded by that first big-eared sonar censoring guy, whatever that thing is called. There's the switch. Alright, I'm a little suspicious, suspicious about going into this room. Got a feeling I'm going to, it's going to, this is going to I got to, I'm kind of getting, uh, uh, Andrew Ryan vibes from Bioshock 1 in this room. 
I got a feeling I'm going to go in here and something bad is going to happen. I grab his foxophone first. It's Elizabeth again. What I've done cannot be undone. I cannot stop what I have put in motion. But perhaps I can keep it from ever starting. He was my first hope. I'm guessing he is me. Okay. I don't know exactly what's going to what's going to happen here when I flip the switch, but I've got a few feelings and a few guesses about what, what might happen here. I'm going to open that door. That's going to lead me on to uh, get get me back into the room where we first heard Elizabeth calling or Elizabeth calling for help, which was behind the door where we first saw the guy with the the, the big. Whatever the hell that thing is, that turns out to be some kind of human-based alarm with the big ear, the big, the big uh, horns on his ears, the bright light on his face. He's basically like a human uh, 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 security camera, essentially. That's where that's where that door is. So I'm going to open this, and here's what I'm thinking is going to happen. I got a few ideas, and I want to kind of throw these out there before they actually happen. That way, in case they do happen, I can say, "Hey, I called it on one of them, on one of them." If I'm right, somehow we go in here, and we find old Elizabeth, Elizabeth as an old woman, and we want to save her from this from the life of torture that she dealt between the time that Songbird took her and this old lady that she's become. And so she's going to she's going to create a terror force. We go back in time, and we a terror that takes us back in time, and we save her while she's young again, which keeps her from being turning into an old woman, being suffering like she has here. That's one thought. Two. She has succumbed to whatever Comstock has changed her into, and she's become the prophet or the the child of the prophet, whatever the seed that Comstock has wanted. And we somehow talk her out of it, or we find a tear that she opens and sends us through it. And we try to go back and again, go back in time. Something tells me the, uh, the, the biggest part of this next clip of this thing here is going to be, we go back in time to some point right after, um, uh, before or right after Songbird takes her away from us, and we somehow rescue her. That's just, that's a, that's what I'm thinking. Now the details leading up to that, I'm just guessing here. Of course, I could be I could be way off here. Those of you who've played this game before, because this game has been out a while. Those of you who played this game before, you're like, dude, you are you you are so far off. You're you're falling off the cliff. But uh, that, that's just what I'm. That's my thing. That's what I'm guessing. Again, I've never played this game before. I've never seen the storyline. Up to this point, obviously. So, I'm completely in the dark here about this. So, who here we go. But I still got some really bad Ed, uh, Andrew Ryan vibes from Bioshock 1 here. Alright. Open security gate. Pull the switch. Rescue Elizabeth. Alright. The, st the screen just went dark and I can't move. Why can I not move? I can't. I really can't move. Oh, Jesus! That's why I couldn't move. I need a moment. Okay. This game is not the scary game, but that shit, that, 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 that shit that scared out of me. I'm, I, it got me so much I can't even talk straight. Oh, God. There's a reason I couldn't move. One of those damn sonar things was right fucking behind me. Okay. I think I'm okay now. That that was probably the... You lost him. I'm right here behind the glass. You can't see me, really? Okay. That, that's that got to be the biggest scare I think I've ever had in a video game. And I've played some horror games lately. I've played Dead Space. I've played Fear. 
I've had some pretty big jump scares. And that one is going to be the biggest one ever. Of course, it's going to be one of the ones I don't like. I don't like it because it's just a jump scare to be a jump scare. This is not a horror game. So, you know, I've talked I've talked about those kind of things before in other horror games. And I'll, I'll, I'll get back to that another... I'll probably mention that another time, but... God damn! I just that was a, that was one of those jump scares just to be a jump scare. I guess I've got a moment here. I'm not being I'm not being engaged anymore. But I've talked about this before. I'm okay with horror games and jump scares and horror games if they have some kind of suspense leading up to the jump scare. I'm okay with that kind of jump scare. I don't like jump scares just to be a jump scare like that was there. That was bullshit. I hate those. I do not like those. One bit. I do not like that at all. I'm sure you guys had a thrill ever watch me jump out of my chair, which I know I'm going to go back to watch it. I'm going to laugh at that, but as far as in, in the moment experiencing it, I don't like that. I do not. I never have. Now, if this has been a, hor a true horror game, I may have been suspecting something like that, so it would have been a little bit more... I'm, I'm, I, I actually enjoy those kind of jump scares when there's suspense leading up to it, but when it's just... You know, okay, why can't I move? What the hell? Turn around and suddenly, boom! Loud noise, loud, you know, guy right there. Especially when, especially when I'm having, especially when those guys freak me out as it is. Those those human uh, uh, security cameras are already freaking me out as it is. And the ones right behind me, that's just, no. That's not cool. I don't like that. I, I'm, this game has just lost some points because of that. I don't like that. Anyway, I will digress and move on now. I'll stop, I'll stop whining like a little baby and, and move on. So does that mean that I was like a, was that like a master security camera person, and uh, now I've got a bunch of enemies I have to fight from here on out? Your best skill is let me go back down to the lower floor. That's right. We we'll grab some ammo. Yep, we got enemies. My question is where these guys come from. Okay, I know, I know. okay, I've got. I'm not using. I'm got. I'm not. I'm not on my normal sh uh, shotgun sniper combo here. I have no way of getting over there, so I guess I'll just bomb you. On fire, and you will die on that one. There we go. Okay. Now, is there is there a way over there? I mean, yeah, there is. I can go around this way. Right? Fuck no. There's shit in my way. This way's blocked as well. Damn it! Screw it, then. That's all right. Hot important, probably, not, probably nothing good over there. Probably just some ammo or something. Alright. This is the elevator I need. Yeah, this is. Okay. Check this foxophone. Elizabeth again. Tomorrow the leash comes off. Because all of this has to end. But even if I destroy the siphon, will I be strong enough to see all the doors and open whichever I choose? And if I bring him here, who is to say that he would be any match for the monsters I have created? The reason I, the reason I, I want to go back here a little bit here to when I was back up there, the thing I talked about that she possibly was an old woman, or she possibly might be an old woman now, is because she doesn't sound like the Elizabeth we've been, has been, we've been escorting around. She sounds like an older woman. I mean, like an old, you know, like, uh, you know, gray-haired, you know, on a cane old woman. She sounds like a true old woman to me. Uh, do I need to take this elevator? Or? Uh, that, yeah, I've been over here. Okay, so I guess I need to take that elevator. Okay. I, I, put, all right, whatever. Uh. I never found one of those bodies where everybody again didn't matter. Pushing the button. Or punching the button. 
Down we go. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're going back down to... Okay, I remember now. Alright, I remember what we're doing. Go back down to the bottom floor. Entrance only... Oh, I didn't see that sign on the right. Entrance only by awards approval on the third floor. Elizabeth, hold tight! Alright, what else in here? What are those two involved? Why are those two here? What? It's a tear. What is it? Why do you ask what? When the delicious question is when. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. You could. Di I start saying they're gonna disappear again. God damn it! <sighs> All right. The operating theater. All right. The operating. Th Liz. I'm gonna run up there and you're gonna disappear, aren't you? You can see, Booker. The lunatics are running the asylum. They don't even listen to me anymore. All I can do is watch. That's what I set into motion. Slides into its terminal stage. It took all I had left in me just to bring you here. Uh, Elizabeth, I, I don't understand. I heard you screaming. I was, I was coming to get you. Are we... Here. Take my hand. She's an old lady. I knew it. Press X. I knew it. I told you. She's an old lady. I called it. I got it. That voice sounded too old to be Elizabeth. I was right. The seed of the prophet. That's New York City. And drown in flame the mountains of man. Say what you will about Comstock. He was a hell of a fortune teller. It wasn't the torture that broke me. It wasn't the indoctrination. It was time. Time rots everything, Booker. Even hope. I was coming. Songbird. He always stops you. Yes, but I would find a way. No. It's too late for me. I brought you here for your sake. Yours and hers. Hers? Here. Is that, that's actually New York, right? Yeah, that's the Empire State Building there. One minor question before I take that. If this is New York, where is the Twin Towers? Because depending on what year this is, okay, new for 1984. So this would be 1984. We're, look, we're looking at 1984 in New York, right? Then where are the Twin Towers? Wait, is that it right there? Is that them right there? I can't get around to look. If that balloon would just move. I think that's the Twin Towers right there. The World Trade Center buildings. Between those two blimps right there in the middle. I, I, I'm sorry. Every time I see New York in, in, a, in, a, uh, in a fictional environment like this, or in a, you know, in, a uh, in this type of environment, you understand what I'm saying. I always try to look for the World Trade Center to see to, because it's just it's a. I'll just... I always try to look at the World Trade Center. <clears throat> if you've been alive before 2001, you know why. So, I'll just leave it at that. To avoid any... Uh, what, what the hell did I have on my... What, I had a mark on my channel, one, or my, one of my videos one time, for controversial comments or something regarding the World Trade Center. I'll just say World Trade Center 2001 and let it go. You got... The rest, the rest of you can do the math. I'll take this card... What is this? It's for her. She'll know how to read it. What does it say? It's advice. Advice on what? How not to become me. Wow. Actually nailed it pretty good. She is, she was an old lady. She's going to send me back in time to 
uh, fix uh, to rescue her young self. So I called it pretty good. All right. Well, I'm when back. The, uh, 1912. Before she. There's still time. All right. Cool. I call, my first guess was the right one. <laughs> Go me. <laughs> I just had a, I had a gut feeling that it was that she was an old lady because those recordings just sounded too old to be the Elizabeth that we'd been escorting around all this time. So I'm glad to be right on that. Elizabeth! Something annoying. I wasn't even in here, so I couldn't me. No, it wasn't you. You don't annoy me. Open the door. Alright, so what, what do I need to destroy to get her out of there? Cockstock! What are you doing to her? Let her be! Yes, the limit. What's the expression? Day late to the dollar short. Alright. If I shut down those machines from upstairs. Okay. No. 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 Off the machines, no problemo. Grab some of this first. Like. Okay. Alright. Up, oh, turret. I want to have a. I, I got a feeling I want to have a lot of fun killing Comstock. Too bad I didn't get a chance to kill F uh, Fink. I really wanted to kill Fink because he was a racist motherfucker that needed to be killed. But I'm gonna have a. I'm gonna have just as much fun killing Comstock. I hope. Hope I just get to fight him. Another turret. Yep. I need my sniper rifle back, damn it. Good god, these guys are so die sometimes. What the hell? Why won't you die? Alright, I need something I need something to take out these turrets a little bit better. That one's down. You can go ahead and stand there and burn. I get the other turret too? Oh, nice. I got the other one. You don't need a face. Good God, that was like, what, five, six shots? Damn. Am I, am I, my shotgun is like an uber shotgun. I can... I destroyed just about anything with one shot with this thing. Alright, upstairs, here we go. Why am I still hearing a Geiger counter? Alright, you're dead. I don't care who you are, you're dead. One. Good, keep her awake. I'll definitely have oh, the other one shut down before you have a chance to. Oh, fuck the Patriots. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go down. Ooh. I don't know, what, I don't know what's gonna happen here if I die. About to find out, I guess. Run, 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 run. Yep, I went down. My first death is without Elizabeth. I'm back in my... Back in the room. What? Oh, okay, so I just... What just happened? Okay, that is really odd. But I'll take it. Now, how do I get in that room? I need that room. How do I get in that room? Okay, right, this is the one I just... I just shut down the generator on. How do I get in that middle room? 
something important in there that I need. Man, those Patriots are fucking fast. Shields are down. Alright, it's down. Good. Fuck those Patriots. Burn. What about being a pig? Was I take my shotgun like a pig? That's right, you died. No on salt, that's alright. Point. Yeah, that's a strategy. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Let's try this. You don't need your head anymore. I, I keep forgetting that my uh, melee actually has a knockback ability. Or it actually has a knockback. So what I could do is, if I'm having trouble with a particular enemy, just knock them back. And then, uh... And then close on them and then kill them that way. Alright, is this... Damn it, I just backtracked to the scene when I was in. Fuck. Okay, here's a different room. Okay, if you're going to try to stop me or not, I'm going to kill you anyway. And power it off. Whoa! Holy shit! Mm, no, don't think so. I don't know how to turn it back on. Sorry. I don't know how switches work. Way to go, girl. How the fuck do I get in that goddamn room? It's right in the middle. How do I... Liz, I need you! I definitely need you now! <laughs> now I have to go back and get her because I, I actually need her to open that door. <laughs> Please tell me she won't be here. She's not comms like took her away somehow. Alright, how do I get into this piece of shit? Okay. Yeah, that looks comfortable. Mm. Help me with this. Uh. I think someone meant for you to have this. What is it? Just read it. Your dream of New York happens. It's me. I. I'm the one who. Uh. She's given us a way to get past Songbird. We're gonna find an airship and we'll leave Booker. Paris, Elizabeth. Remember, you wanted to go We're to... not leaving. We are going to find Comstock. Why? You saw what he turns me into. I will not allow that. And so what? You're going to kill him? This is where you start moralizing, Booker. You forget. I know you. I'm not going to let you kill him. Really? Booker? What are you going to do to stop me? Not a damn thing. Because I'm going to do it for you. Don't ever throw me another tornado like that again, please. <laughs> okay. Higher learning. Completed Comstock house. And yeah, well, we're not done yet. First things first. Liz with me. This away. Of course he would. When did you learn that? I've been here for a while. How long? Long enough. Yeah, let's not find out how long. <laughs> I hope Comstock got what he wanted from me. Because he is not going to have long to use it. Alright, I need to go over here. Three picks, and I got 18 Locked. of them. On it. Thank you, Liz. Done. 
Take that. And salt increase. Nice. And a voxophone. Harrison Powell. The procedure should help immensely with the issues we've had with the girl. Once the device is implanted, any effort on her part to alter the state of things will emit a most painful electric shock. Pavlov made a dog salivate. We'll make this one weep. Sick. Very sick. Alright, uh, switch cabinet. Right. So ammo. Now that I got, uh, now that I got Elizabeth back, I really would like to uh, go back to my sniper rifle, but I don't know where one would be. Well, until I find one. Oh, hey, what's this? Another one over here. Hairpin lock. Okay, well, this is our objective. Oh, this is our objective. Okay, wait then. I want to. I want to make sure I explore everything I can before I actually get out of here. I don't want to miss anything good. Okay, I'm back in here. Okay, so we didn't. So I'm. I'm. By, all right. Okay, I do have more to see. All right. This is where we would have gone anyway once I rescued her. So I'm in the right spot. Like, salt's already full. A little low on pistol ammo. Okay. Me out with this lock. Okay. All done. All right. I need to go into this elevator. I mean, we'll go into this elevator and probably be going after Comstock. Probably not. In the next episode of Bioshock Infinite. If I know these Bioshock games, we will be chasing him for a very, very long time. Yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the links in this video for more of my stuff. And thanks so much for watching. I'm Score, the Crimson Renegade. I'll see you later.